Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. Um, today's video is gonna be kind of fun and exciting. So I'm sure you guys have seen the husband buys my makeup challenge where the YouTubers take their husbands to Sephora or sometimes drugstores or wherever and they have to buy like a full face of makeup. So I thought about doing that challenge but my husband wasn't as into it as I was. So I thought, I'm just gonna have my kids do it instead. So um, I just had my nine-year-old and my four-year-old and I took them to Sephora and we picked out some things and you guys are gonna see me actually um, applying everything today. So really excited. I can't wait to see what I come up with. Um, I didn't have my 14-year-old help because I didn't think that was fair because she does wear makeup. So um, I just had the younger two do it. And yeah, if you guys want to see how they did, um, I have some footage of them shopping and then I will um, then I will show you guys how it turns out after that. So wish me luck and I'll, um, I hope you guys enjoy watching. To the mall. We're going to the mall. What are we going to do at the mall? Play at the play area and go to Sephora. Play at the play area? I don't think we talked about that. What are we doing, Kira? Kids buy mom's makeup challenge. And we're going to make a kids buy mom's makeup <laughs> challenge, huh? Even we're going to Sephora, too. Are you going to pick out some makeup for mommy at Sephora? I uh have. -huh, we're doing both. Okay. okay. Two things. Hey, we're here. Are you ready? Mom, how can No. No? Let's go. All right. Are you ready, Lexi? Yes. How can we get through here? It's like a maze. It's like a maze? No. No, I would find the Sephora because I don't think we're in the right section. Where's the Sephora? You guys are discussing over here about the lipstick. You picked a lipstick already? You didn't want to look around? No, no, no. All right. Okay, I'm only going to give you one hint, and that is the open ones are not the ones you buy, okay? The open ones are to test, and the closed ones are the ones that you buy. Listen, right. how about Wait, Lexi, this one? don't knock them over with your jacket, Lexi, okay? Be careful. Lexi, how about this one? Because it's casual and screen. We have to get, do one that she can wear like for every day. Lexi, no, Lexi. Okay, let's see what it looks like. Mom's like, no. get out of the frame. Well, this is half on just like there's. Mom, where's the eyeshadows? They're all over. Let's walk around. That's the eyeshadows. I can pick. Do you guys always have this on? Alright, there's lots of other brands too, you guys can look around. Eyeshadow. What is that? What type is that? Just open it and you can test it. Eyeshadow. You need help opening it to test it? Here you go. Whoa! Yeah, that's like snow queen. I don't think so. Pretty. We can't have like white eyeshadow and orange lipsticks. Lipstick, Lexi. I think we're going for the very theme already. This might kinda match the lipstick. This, yeah, this might kind. No, I never said this. This might kind of match the lipstick. Me. Wait, can you use your brushes? Yeah, don't get brushes. I already have brushes. We need a test. We already, already have. That. Kira already, already grabbed it. The foundation. I already grabbed something. Where are the eyeliner? I mean, not eyeliner. Here's the other thing. Here's You can't tell her anything. I'm not going to tell her. I just want to see which one she grabbed. She grabbed the last one. Oh, okay. Good job. Good job. Kira knows how to count her moms. Ooh, mom. I don't know. I didn't even see, like, we didn't see the lipstick. It's really not the lightest one. Ooh. Look at that. That was on accident, but good. Oh, that's just. Oh, I have one. What is this? Eyeshadow. Primer. Kira, look at that. I just got that. I don't know if I. Look. Hey, 
Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, I have a couple special guests here. You guys probably would have just saw the footage of the kids shopping for me. So what we did is we actually just made a trip to Sephora last night. We made a trip to Sephora last night and the two of these girls here helped pick out a full face of makeup for me. So um, they picked together. Lexi found a few items, but Kira actually did the bulk of it and I was pretty impressed with what she found. So we're gonna go through and and show you guys what they each picked and then um, I'm going to actually apply a, apply everything that they bought for me and we'll see what I come up with. So let's start with Lexi because she did pick out the least amount of stuff. You want to pull stuff out of your bag that you have here? So Lexi picked the lipstick color. She saw this as soon as, she, lipstick. as soon as she walked in and decided she had to have it. So this is the Sephora collection lipstick number 46. Wow. So Lexi, tell them why you picked this color. Because it's my favorite color. You like you like orange? Uh-huh. So that's the color right there. It's definitely like a corally orange color. Pretty ah. bright. And then next she picked out a eyeshadow. She actually picked two eyeshadows. So this one and one other eyeshadow from Kat Von D that the kids picked out, I already owned. So when I went to check out, I took them out. Um, but they did yeah. pick these, so I just pulled mine out of my collection and I'll be incorporating them in the look because these were eyeshadows they selected. This one is the Thunderstruck eyeshadow from Kat Von D. It's just a really pretty kind of opal-y, um, almost with a yellow shift to it, just a, like almost like a highlight. So that'll be easy to incorporate. And then she also picked a purple eyeshadow from Urban Decay. And this shade is called Can't Asphyxia. Go, tell them why we picked this color, Lexi. Because it's, my, because it's mommy's favorite color. Yep, mommy likes purple. And I wanted to get some of mommy's favorite colors. All right, so I'm gonna pop this out so I can show you the swatch. So this is like a really, really light purple, very like cool tone purple, almost like with a bluish undertone. So that's it right there. That's really, really light, isn't it? I was thinking it'd be more pigmented than that, but that's pretty light. Okay, alrighty. All right, let, Kira's gonna show us what she picked out. This is the Becca Aqua Luminous Foundation. And you guys might see in the video, I don't know if I got that part on film when she was grabbing this, but she would find like foundation and she'd just reach back and randomly grab something. So I got really lucky that she randomly grabbed the shade light. Were you looking at shades, Kira? Not really. Not really. Well, I tried to, but there weren't very good ones. She, she was having a hard Hello. time figuring out like, where the testers correlated with the product. So a few times she grabbed something that she thought was something else. Okay, what do we have here? This is the, um, what is Hold it Hold it up high. That is an eyeliner. Eyeliner? Yep. This is a Smashbox gel liner in black. It's one of their new ones. I haven't actually tried those yet, so that's kind of cool. By the way, the only two items that they bought that I already owned were those two Kat Von D eyeshadows. So they did pretty good picking things that I didn't already have. Lip liner? Um, it's actually not a lip liner. She thought that she was grabbing the lip liner. It, it said was in, lip liner. It was in the same bin as the lip liner, but they also had the lip plumper in there as well. So she got me a lip plumping gloss. That's all right. Next up. Blush. Yeah. Do you know what shade you grabbed, Kira? Did you look at shades? I think I did on that one. You think you did? What did, What shade do you think it is? I think it's like kind of of a light pink, maybe. Okay, so she grabbed the Luminous Blush in Blushed Copper from Becca. Is that yeah. the shade you thought it was? Yeah, it's good. Finally. Is that bad? It's pretty orange. Well, at least it'll match the lipstick, Lexi. Got. It'll match the lipstick and the other eyeshadow. I'm going to okay. be pretty orange. What is this? Lash primer. Okay, so she grabbed a Stila Lash Stunner Extreme Lash Primer. She thought she was getting a mascara, um, but it is a brown tinted primer, so I think it should be still okay. What's brow, that? Brow whatever. <laughs> a brow pencil from Marc Jacobs, and she grabbed the shade Medium Brown. So I'm going to have to be super light-handed with that guy. Um. Next. The eyeshadow. This is the other Kat Von D shadow that they picked for me. Um, they, she grabbed the shade Dose, which is a copper, again, like a coppery orange. So, so it would match Lexi's lipstick. It's gonna match the blush and the lipstick. In fact, I could totally do an ombre effect with that. Oh, I think I've got an idea. 
Can't how am I tell gonna us. Get the, can't tell us. I'm gonna get that purple don't, in there. Don't, no, I don't know. Okay, next she grabbed Lights another power, powder. Another Kat Von D item. She grabbed a Kat Von D Locket Brightening Powder um, in the shade Peach, which is meant for medium skin tones. This Ooh. was the only powder they grabbed for me, so I'm gonna have to try to use this to set my whole face. I feel like it might be okay um, since it is a brightening powder. We'll see. CC cream. She grabbed a Smashbox CC cream in the shade Light Medium. I think you you thought this was a concealer, right? I thought it was something that started with a C that was a CC cream. Let's yeah, see. she Let's didn't know what this was, and I think she thought she was getting a concealer. So Light Medium is pretty dark on my skin tone, but we will see. The last thing in the bag. Uh, I remember this bronzer. Tarte Park, Park Avenue Princess Bronzer. This is the original Wait, one, the one that has shimmer in it. I don't own this one, I just own the matte version. Bronze. But I think I can make it work. I think it's a pretty bronzer still, so. That's what we got for this makeup look. All right, so I'm gonna dismiss these two. And I'm gonna have to get real creative to figure out how copper and, and uh, purple go together. All right, so as you guys saw, they did miss a few categories of makeup, but for a nine-year-old and a four-year-old, I feel like they did pretty darn good. Uh, sorry if my lighting goes in and out. I'm using natural lighting and there's a few clouds in the sky right now. Anyway, I feel like for a nine-year-old and a four-year-old, they covered most of it. So what I am missing is a facial primer, a eye primer, a concealer, and a, a real mascara. That's what I'm missing as far as categories go. So I feel like I'm gonna use, since they got me both a CC cream and a foundation, and I do have to use both, I'm gonna use my CC cream she got to me, that's a very dark shade, as a primer, and then use the um, foundation over the top of it. Um, and then I'm gonna have to use my foundation as concealer around my eye area, and I'm gonna have to use this tinted lash primer as my only mascara, and we're just gonna make it work. Um, as far as shades, I feel like they, when Lexi picked the orange lipstick, like right when we walked through the door, and I think as soon as Kira saw that, she was like, everything orange, so she grabbed a lot of orange, which, I like orange, but I don't know if I wanted orange like blush, lipstick, and eyeshadow, but that's what we got, so that's what I'm gonna have to do. So, I'm gonna start with the um, primer, well, the CC cream. So a lot of people love this CC cream, but I've never tried it, and like I said, I was pretty impressed that, oh my God, that's so dark. I was pretty impressed that they picked um, so many products that I hadn't tried before. Oh my God, look how orange that is on me. <gasps> oh, okay. It's a good thing I'm only using this as a primer. Holy shamoles. Um, but it was funny because we went to my store and we first walked in and I told the girls that I worked with what we were doing and I told them, you know, not to give any pointers or any help. And the, the kids kept trying to, oh, this is so orange, kept trying to grab the testers and put them in their basket. So that was the only help I gave them. I, every time they try to put a tester in their basket, I'm like, no, that's the product right there. You can't put the tester in. No buying testers. So uh, other than that, I did not give them any guidance. Kira was pretty good about, um, before we left, when I told her what we were doing, she's like, made a list and on her own. She didn't do any research. She's just like, okay, let me think. What do you wear for makeup? And so she went through and she's like mascara and eyeshadow and blush and went through all the categories like in her head. And then when we got there, she forgot to bring her list. So she had to like redo it. But I think her little brainstorming session helped her remember some things she might not have remembered. She almost left without the mascara though. And I was like, uh, well, she did leave without a mascara, but she almost left without the lash primer too. And she's like, okay, I just want to make sure there's nothing else. Am I missing a category? And um, she's like, I walked through the store like two more times. Okay, I just dampened my beauty blender real quick. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply the foundation over the top of this BB cream so I can hopefully take the orangeness away. As far as the texture though, I kind of liked it. Um, it doesn't feel like really oily like some BB creams and CC creams can feel like really oily on my skin, but it looks a little patchy and I think it's just because the shade is so off. It's pretty off, but that's okay. All right, so I'm going to take some of this foundation and I have not tried this foundation on my skin before. Um, I know dry skin clients love this foundation. All right, so this bottle is going back for sure just because it's broken. The little 
dropper wasn't pulling anything up and now it won't even come back up so okay so I took some of this on the back of my hand and I'm just gonna stipple that on with my beauty blender I know this is a really lightweight foundation wow that looks really yellow on me too that's the shade light that looks really really yellow and dark I'm gonna have to take this down my whole neck I think it's not just because of the BB cream that's underneath or CC cream I really feel like I'm probably the shade fair in this foundation because that's pretty here, I'll show you some on my, my my neck. That's pretty dark. Wow. That is really dark for the shade light. I was impressed that she grabbed the light one without even looking, but now I'm like, man, I wish she would have grabbed the fair because that is holy smokes. It's not just dark, but it's like orange. I look really, really orange between that CC cream and this foundation. Oh, oh my. And I don't have a concealer, so that's going right up underneath my eye, too. This is going to be interesting. This is going to be interesting. I'm going to look like an Oompa Loompa, you guys. And you can't even tell that good because my light's washing me out, but I'm looking very orangey. I look tan. I look like I went tanning. And now we're going to use a medium <laughs> setting powder to set this in. Wow. Can you guys <laughs> see that? All right, well, we're going to have to set this because that's the next step. So let's set this craziness. That This foundation is going back. I wasn't planning to return anything, you guys, because I, I don't feel right about returning stuff after using it when I knew purchasing it. It might not work for me, but because this is actually defective and not pumping correctly, I don't feel bad about returning it. So the brightening powder from Kat Von D in the shade peach. This is the medium one. She was going to grab the one for light skin. Actually, um, she grabbed the light skin tester, but what happened was that one was sold out. So she's like, Oh, well, and she grabbed the medium one. And I'm like, mm, okay, okay. Not really how it works, but we'll see. But apparently she thinks I'm very tan. So we're going with it. All right, I'm gonna use it a little bit on the brush underneath my eye first. This is gonna be so dark, I think. Oh, not too bad. Not too bad because the foundation is so dark, I think. If I was putting this over a very light foundation. Oh, there we go, peach. There's the peach. Kids are downstairs screaming, by the way. If you, in case you can hear them, they're playing tag. So it's very loud. I think I was telling you guys about the experience at the store. Yeah, I told my girlfriends at work, I was like, don't help them. And they were all, kind of watching them from from far away like just observing them you know um and it was pretty fun the kids had fun with it although kira was being a little bit bossy with lexi which she usually is because kira is very um ocd like she likes things to be a certain way so she had a very strong opinion on what she wanted for the look and she didn't want lexi's help picking anything so i had to force kira to let lexi pick um, at first Lexi threw like three lipsticks in her basket and I'm like, okay, only one of each thing because mommy's not going to be spending $1,200 today. So, um, she picked her favorite lipstick, which was the orange one. At first Kira did not want the orange. So there was a little bit of an argument, but, um, I made her let her pick a couple things. So she got to pick one eyeshadow, no two, she picked two eyeshadows and then she picked the lipstick and that was pretty much it and Kira or Lexi got a little bored after that anyways I mean she was walking around looking at stuff but she wasn't really interested in picking more after that but anyway all right I don't know what do you guys think so far the coverage is fine I'm not I'm not hating the coverage at all but the color color's a little dark all right speaking of a little a little dark we are actually going to apply the brow uh, pencil next this is from Marc Jacobs I have not used this brow pencil before I haven't even ever used it on a client um, this is called the brow wow and she got me the shade medium brown so I'm just gonna go ahead and brush through my brows first so you guys would have will be seeing later this week I think I'm not sure which one's going up first but I just did another uh, makeup challenge. I did the um, uh, all samples challenge and my makeup looked a little crazy from that one too. So I'm like, oh man, I need to do some actual regular tutorials with makeup I'm used to so I don't look like a crazy person in all of these makeup application videos. Oh, it's very ashy. Wow. It's almost like a gray. Ooh, I know what I'm going to recommend when I have clients with gray hair coming in looking for a pencil. It's not too bad. Sorry they're so loud. It's really ashy, you guys. Like, look at that. It almost doesn't even look like a medium brown. It kind of looks like um, just gray. I'm actually pushing a lot harder than I thought I was going to. I thought I was going to go really light-handed with it, but 
it's not dark at all, it's just gray. Anyway, so I am gonna tag some ladies down below in the description box. Um, some of my favorite YouTubers that also happen to have children. Not all the girls that I usually tag have children. So some of my um, good friends on here that I know have children, I will be tagging. So check that out and let them know I tagged them too so that they can go create this uh, video themselves. All right, next I wanna do the bronzer. So we're gonna pull out the Park Avenue Princess bronzer. I'm really glad she remembered a bronzer because this was one of the last things she put in the basket and I was like wondering, I was like, oh man, she's not gonna think of bronzer or contour or anything. So I was happy to see this. I wish it wasn't a shimmery one since she didn't grab like a contour palette or anything. And they didn't give me an eyeshadow palette. I was really expecting an eyeshadow palette, but nope, they just picked a couple single shadows and they're like, oh, here you go. Create a look with that. I'm like, oh my God. Thank goodness she got a bronzer too because I will be using this probably to blend out the shadows since they just grabbed me like bright colors. They didn't grab me anything for a blending shade or transition shade. So this bronzer is gonna be pulling some double duty. Oh my God, this look didn't need any bronzer though. Let's be honest, I'm already looking pretty bronzed already. So next, this blush, I am terrified of this blush. So I don't know if you guys remember, but if you've been watching my channel for a little bit, I used to own the Becca um, highlighter in blushed copper, which is the same shade, but it was like the larger um, pan size like the highlighters and it had that like prismatic um, design in it, like the limited edition ones, cause it was limited edition. Um, but I got rid of it because it was an awful color on me. So when I saw her, this is really bad. When I saw her pick it up, all I saw was a Becca blush and I was like, yes, I've been wanting some more Becca blushes. Good job, Kira. And then I got home and was looking through the bag and I saw the shade and I was like, I was like, darn it. The one shade I would have not wanted is the one shade she got, but. Okay, if I do it super light-handed, it's not bad. This side's not bad. That side looks crazy, so I need to blend that out. So what I'm gonna do to get rid of that that clown face, that's what I hated about this um, blush, is it's so, so darn pigmented. It's so hard to not do that. So I'm gonna take some of this um, peach Kat Von D powder they got me on a fluffy brush. Try to blend it out a bit so it's not so harsh. That's my favorite trick, by the way. If you go crazy with your blush, Take a finishing powder on a fluffy brush, blend it out. Okay, that's not too bad. Okay, that was I, probably the one thing I was most nervous about was that blush, to be honest. Okay, let's see if we can create an eye look with purple and orange eyeshadow. All right, so I think what I'm gonna do is try to do like a sunset eye since they got me a couple of different shades of orange. Um, I'm gonna use that blush as an eyeshadow as well. So I'm gonna take this uh, Thunderstruck Kat Von D shadow and I'm just trying to move everything around. I'm going to actually place that on the first like little inner corner of my eye onto my lid and down my lower lash line. Okay, now I'm going to do the other side. By the way, if you can see that I still have some mascara on, I do have a little bit of mascara on. I tried everything to get it off, but the video I filmed earlier today, the mascara sample I had was a waterproof one and I tried waterproof makeup remover. I tried my big guns and I could not get that off. So I do have a little residue of mascara. I hope you guys don't find that cheating. I tried my best to get it off. So next I'm going to take the blush and I'm going to layer that onto the first third and then I'm take this on the outer corner and then use the bronzer in the crease. I think let's see how this goes. All right. So I'm taking the blush next and I'm going to layer that with the yellow shadow. Look how pigmented that blush is. It's kind of crazy. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the Kat Von D Dose eyeshadow and I'm gonna take that on the outer corner. I just wanna come in. To All right, so I'm gonna soften up these edges and kind of blend it together so it has an ombre effect. And then I know I still need to incorporate that purple. I think I'm gonna kind of play it safe and pull that on the lower lash line. I just feel like these eyeshadows are so coppery. I don't think that really light lavender purple would work on my lid with these coppery, coppery shades. That blush and eyeshadow do actually work together pretty nicely. It almost looks like the same shade. One's just more intense than the other. Alrighty, I'm gonna blend that out softly. I am gonna pull the bronzer in to 
above my crease a bit to blend this out better in a second. Just wanted to get the base of the colors down and I'll build up those colors as well. But okay, what I'm gonna do next, I do already have some of that white on the first one third, but I'm gonna take a clean pencil brush and take this purple shadow and I'm gonna smoke it out on my lower lash line. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I don't know about these colors together. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't feel like these colors really go together, but, but I incorporated them. All right, next I'm going to apply the liner. They did not give me a liquid liner, so, uh, oh, what am I doing? <laughs> Hello, I wasn't finished with the eye look. I just got so distracted by that purple. So I'm gonna actually take the Tarte um, bronzer now and just blend out my crease a bit to soften this up. Cause let's be honest, I look crazy, but I don't really know what else I could have done with these shades. This was definitely a challenge, <laughs> I'll say that for sure. And they didn't get me a highlighter either. I forgot to mention that when I was talking about what they didn't get me, but I feel like I already have enough happening here that I probably, probably a good thing I don't have a highlighter. So I'm gonna just smudge a little bit of black liner. I think what I'll do is my lash line, top and bottom instead of my waterline. I feel like doing that makes the purple look a little bit more like it was intentional when the black liner is on there. Kind of feel like I want the purple to be more prominent, but I don't, it's such a light color. I don't know how to get it to do that with this orange being so intense. And then I'm just going to line my upper lash line with this as well. This gel liner is kind of nice. I'm kind of liking it. I liked the formula of the Marc Jacobs Brow Pencil too, but I didn't like the shade and I don't like how expensive it is. I'd rather just keep using my Brow Wiz because I feel like it was really similar to the Brow Wiz, but obviously the Brow Wiz is cheaper. And I really disliked the foundation. However, I kind of knew I would. That's why I've never bought it, but um, the CC cream I was pleasantly surprised with. So yeah, this gel liner is actually pretty good. All right, do the other side. Okay, I don't have mascara, so we're gonna do that tinted lash primer that they got me. All right, so, so a brown lash primer to finish off this very classic look here. I feel like that's not doing anything. It's totally disappearing. Like I said, I did have some residue on my lashes already from that other mascara, but this isn't doing it. I don't even see this showing up on my lashes at all. Like most lash primers, you can see it going on. Like this looks like it's not even going on my eyes. Okay, well, that's that's gonna be good for that. I have no lashes. Okay, is that everything but the lipstick? Oh, the lipstick and the lip gloss is all I have left? Oh, thank goodness. Okay, we're almost done with this painful look, you guys. <laughs> Next, we're going in with some orange lipstick and we're gonna follow it up with a plumping lip gloss. Oh my goodness, I legit look like a clown right now. This is so bad. These thumbnail pictures, you guys, this thumbnail picture is gonna be crazy. Whoa. I look like one of those videos that girls make how not to do your makeup. This look, yeah. Oh my God, I tried my best. I did try my best. I feel like the lid eyeshadow isn't too bad, but with the purple, I don't even know what to say about it. It's just not working. Oh my God. Okay, last step. I can get it open. I have never tried this actually. This is called the No Thin Lips Lip Secret Lip Plumper. We have had this in our beauty on the fly forever and I feel like I never saw any of them. I really don't know much about it. I hope it's not too stingy. Mm, nope, it's not stingy. It feels uh, like cooling a little bit tingly. All right, you guys, so this is the finished look. I'm about to call in the kids so they can see it, but I wanna give you guys a little bit of a close up before you see their reaction, so. So yeah, what do you guys think? I mean, the brows, I like the brows probably the best. That brow pencil did pretty good. Mm, this is getting more tingly, by the way. The lipstick color is not bad if I had a different look overall. I feel like with the very orangey foundation and the very orange eyes and the very orange blush, I just look like I really am obsessed with orange. So, okay, I'm gonna call them in and we're gonna see if they like the cre the look that they helped me create today. I'm to hiding my face. We have to close our eyes for the camera. Well, I'm hiding my face, so come in. Okay, ready? One, two, two three. three. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of mommy's makeup? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kira, what do you think of the foundation you picked for me? I like it that. Looks good. You think oh, it looks good? This is fine. The color looks okay? I like that. You like the lipstick? It's just kind of 
And what do we think about the eyes? You look like a doll. I look like a doll? I think I look a little bit clownish. Yes. Yes. Let's some get, bright colors you guys picked, huh? Let's get some more clowns. Not very many neutral colors. Well, let's get some more I, I had to go along with the lipstick. The lipstick? Okay, so what's your favorite part, Kira? I think you did good on the brow pencil. I that was like, my favorite. I like that. Which part? Eyeshadow, but not oh, like eyeshadow. You just literally stuck your finger in my eye. You don't like the white eyeshadow? I thought the white looked good. Mom, white look! Is, I guess, but the purple. Well, the purple, I had to throw it in there, so I did it on the lower lash line. What do you? What's your favorite part, Lexi? Just the lipstick? What do you think of the purple eyeshadow wow. you picked? Wow. Can you see it? Yeah. All right, what do you think? Do you give it, what, what grade would you give it? An A through an F. Um, probably a D. You gave the makeup or application less. a D. D I minus. give I give your guys a shopping skills a B. Because considering you don't wear makeup, Mom. you actually got most of the categories. Mom. The colors, I wish you spent a little more time Mom. thinking about which colors you wanted. All right, you guys, thanks so much for watching, and thank you to my little baby girls for helping me pick out all of this makeup. I will Mom. definitely play with these products, though, and use them in other looks, but, but maybe not all together. Mom. So thanks for watching, you guys. Bye. Mom. Bye.